All I know is that if you sit on it, you kiss someone, you'll fall in love and be with them forever. If a couple kisses on the bench, that they'll end up getting married. Uh, you kiss a person on the bench, that just means like they might be your true love and wind up marrying them. The kissing bench tradition is so important to some students that many alumni who kissed on the bench returned to Syracuse to be married in Hendricks Chapel. But it's easy for students to walk past the Hall of Languages without noticing the bench. It's obviously old, donated by the class of 1912, and it even looks uncomfortable to sit on. Every university tour guide loves to point out where the bench is on campus, but I wondered if students actually knew where it was. The quad somewhere in the quad. I don't know exactly where it is. The Pan Am thing, or no? Where is it? That sketchy place on top of the stairs down by Euclid. Which is pretty worrying. What if one of these students decided to sit on the kissing bench alone? The opposite holds true as well for the tradition. Sitting alone means you're destined to be alone for the rest of your life. So unless you want to make a decision either way, I suggest finding another bench to sit on.